Welcome everyone to this CLEAR Institute webinar. My name is Stefan Reinhardt and this is an introduction to CLEAR Aligners. There is a good chance that if you are present today, it is because either you want to incorporate CLEAR Aligners in your practice, um, maybe you got certified some years ago and never quite started it, maybe you're just curious or you are trying to find ways to increase your offering to your patients. Whatever the reason is, my goal in this one hour webinar is to convince you that you need to incorporate clear aligners in your practice now and that you can do it yourself, but it doesn't matter if you are doing it or not. What's important is that you need someone in your office offering this treatment. Let me tell you a little story about when I started with Clear Aligners. Almost 16 years ago, Align Technology, the makers of Invisalign, after seeing I was serious about their aligners and seeing I had success with it and that I, I believed in what could be done with it, they asked me to do a little tour in uh, the province here in, in Quebec. Uh, just presenting to dentists, you know, talking about how I incorporated clear aligners in my office, what I was doing with, with them, uh, what kind of treatment cases, how did I manage to be efficient and successful with these aligners. I will always remember this dentist at the end of one of the lecture. He came to me and he was maybe in his early 30s. He was, he was tall, he was fit, he was good looking, well dressed. I mean, he, he had everything. To give you an idea, I mean, give him just a little bit more and he was exactly like me. Yeah, it's gonna be like that the whole hour. But I'll always remember what he told me. He came and asked me, your thing you were talking about, you know, this Invisalign thing, do you think, do you think I, I could do it? And it struck me. Why? Why, 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 why was this dentist, who apparently had everything, why was he so insecure? And on the other hand, you have those who are afraid of nothing, uh, who, who don't know that they don't know. I, I was giving the certification courses for Invisalign a couple of years ago across you know, Canada and USA and many times I had doctors coming at the end of, of the session showing me a case with pictures and models and asking me, is this a good case? Is this a good case to start? But they were showing me cases like this. They were choosing hard cases, class three, class two, surgical cases, and they were always saying, oh, it's not a problem, it's my brother-in-law, or it's my assistant, my hygienist. No, 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 no. Not good. You don't want that when you start. But, 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 we are all the same, dear colleagues. We all want to be superheroes. We want to treat everyone. We want it to be perfect all the time. We want to save everyone. We are perfectionists. And let me tell you a secret. For a lot of us, we are control freaks. Oh, you thought you were the only one like that? Na 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 na. By a show of hands. Who is like that here? You have to take the time and grow up to be a hero. You are not born a superhero. You have to work to get there. You have to take the time to learn. It doesn't mean it's easy, but it can be done. Look at everything you learned so far in dentistry. You're probably doing things you never imagined you could do. Remember when you started in dental school. Remember your first injection, your first restoration. You practiced and practiced and got better. Heck, I, I graduated in 1992. Wow. Yeah, and I still say that I practice. 
My niece once told me, maybe you should stop practicing and start doing it for real. In his book, Outliers, journalist Malcolm Gladwell studied professional hockey players, the Beatles, Bill Gates, and people with great success. And he tried to understand why they had such success. And one answer is practice, 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 practice. You have to learn and start somewhere. You cannot think that you will incorporate something and master it from the start. This is not how it works. My objectives with this webinar are to go over the three barriers that stops us incorporating clear aligners in our practice. I will show you case examples of what can be treated with clear aligners. We'll talk about the business of clear aligners. Are you making money with this? I'll tell you why now, more than ever, it is the time to start using clear aligners and, and because you will be so interested in continuing, I'll tell you about what your next steps should be. Now, a little about me. I graduated from Montreal University in 1992. I opened my clinic in Brassard, South Shore of Montreal in 93, and I, I've been there since. I started uh, to use orthodontics in 1999 because I wanted to treat my son and I got in, interested in it and, and never stopped learning. And I had the chance to get educated by people like Dr. Uh, Tom Mulligan, Dr. Nanda, Dr. Sato, and Dr. Jerry Sampson, with whom I became good friends. I did over 1,200 cases of Invisalign and even more cases with braces. In 2004, I started with Invisalign and never stopped since. I had the privilege to lecture on the subject in America and Europe. I, I came to the conclusion that no matter where we are, where we practice, we all face the same three barriers. And they are ethics. Do I really want to do this? Or rather, do I feel comfortable doing this to my patients? Case selection. What kind of case can I treat with clear aligners? And clinical confidence. I want to understand what to do, when to do it, and why to do it. What are your barriers? Are they one of these? Are they a combination? Maybe. But let's start with ethics. How, how do we deal with ethics? For me, it's probably the, the, the easiest one of the barriers. Uh, always ask yourself, would I treat my sister, my mother, my friend the same way? I mean, you, you cannot be wrong with this. And this is considering you like them. Um, if it's your mother-in-law, well. But those are the, all the questions I asked myself when I started using clear aligners. And this is how I started, step by step, learning with Invisalign. I started in 2004, and at the time, in Montreal, you had to be crazy to do Invisalign. I was perceived as a guy doing compromised dentistry, but I was convinced. So convinced from the first time I saw ClinCheck. It was from the, the profitable dentist at the time. You know, they, they were sending every month a VHS cassette. Now, those of you who don't know what a VHS cassette is, I hate you. But this VHS was on the future of dentistry and it showed the clean check. And for me, this was a life changing experience. It was high technology, digital technology. Now go, go back in 2004. There was no iPhone at the time, no Google map, no Apple TV, no YouTube. Uh, the, the term social media didn't even exist. There was no iPad, no Gmail, no, no GPS. Uh, uh, the words smartphone, tweet, podcast, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, thumb drive did not exist. LOL didn't mean a thing. Nobody knew Justin Bieber or the Kardashian. But even if 
technology was not advanced like today, I believed in Invisalign and was convinced this was the way to go. And even if people around me told me not to do it, well, you know, one of my greatest pleasure in life has always been to do what people said I couldn't do. And this is why I was successful with Invisalign. I believed it. In fact, I fell in love with the product and with what it brought me. This is how incorporating digital dentistry in my practice made all the change. But even though I was believing it, I still had my barriers somewhere in there. First, I was uh, doubting that plastic could move teeth. Uh, let's put it that way. I was a little skeptical, but I, I wanted it to work. My second barrier was case selection. I had no clue what could be treated. I, in my mind, it was only for small or easy cases, relapse cases, for example. Now let's make it fun. Let, let's do a little quiz. Look at these seven cases and tell me which of these cases are Invisalign cases. Just answer here in the chat area. You see seven different cases. Which one are Invisalign cases? Is it none of them? Number one, two, and three only? One, two, three, and four? Or all of them? Now the answer is, drum roll please. The answer is, none of them. None of them. But wait, wait, they were all treated with Invisalign only. Yes. So your question? Then, why do I say they are not Invisalign cases? Because they are not Invisalign cases. They are orthodontic cases. You're, you are not Invisaligning these teeth. You are just using Invisalign as a tool to move these teeth around. But these should not be cases you start with, unless you already have a good or great knowledge of orthodontics. Here is the first case I treated with Invisalign clear aligners. It was a very small and easy case. And even then, at the time, I said to the patient, now remember, we're in, in 2004. I said to the patient that we might need braces to finish the case. I was not sure this thing would work, moving teeth with plastic. Really? Are you serious? But I had to start somewhere. I had to develop my clinical confidence. You will not learn to do Invisalign in a half-day course, like you will not learn to put an implant in a half-day course, or learn to do a root canal on a molar on a half-day course. You need some engagement and to put some time. This is why you're here today. There is a learning curve. There's no recipe and the software and the artificial intelligence cannot do it all for you. It surely helps. But the good news is you are still the doctor and you are still needed to do this treatment well. Those who don't believe in this, who do not get involved in clear aligners treatment, they're already behind. There's a parade out there and some will lead it, some will follow it, and some other will watch it go by. The saddest thing in all that is that there are still some people that don't even know there's a parade. Pretending something does not exist or does not work often comes from fear, fear of changing, fear of something new. We still hear dentists saying that you cannot move teeth with plastic. It, it, it's, it's sad. It's, it's sad, sad for them. And clear aligners are not new. They're, they're not the future. They are actual clinical digital dentistry and should be part of a comprehensive treatment plan. We need to build our confidence, our confidence in ourselves and in the product. Confidence comes with time. It's not something you can learn, but it's a state of mind. Look at this guy. I don't know if you know him. He's, he's famous for doing rock climbing without ever being attached. He's like a spider. Anyone would say what he's doing is impossible. 
we all think is going to die doing it some, I mean, at some point. He's, he's the only one who is convinced he won't. He's doing crazy things. Doesn't mean that if you decide to do some hiking or rock climbing, that you have to do the same thing that he does. You do it your own way. Yet, you both would be doing rock climbing. You choose your own path. There are all kinds of cases out there. Some easy, some intermediate, some advanced. You just have to be able to recognize which one's which and decide which ones you want to treat. And talking of crazy things, doctors, you do crazy things too. Like that. These, these for me are scary. But you do it. General dentists do things like that. My friend does Invisalign, but also all the molar root canals in his clinic. Ask him where he is more stressed, doing Invisalign or root canals. And his associate, she does crazy things like implant cases and surgery and ah, this is crazy. Not clear aligners. Those who don't learn, who don't change, won't survive. And this is why the Clear Institute was created by providing face-to-face -face lectures and soon digital learning from our brand new e-learning platform, we bring the necessary confidence and knowledge to dentists and team members in order to efficiently and successfully integrate clear aligners in their dental practice. Our vision is that dentists and their team become as comfortable talking about clear aligners to their patient as they are about any kind of usual restoration. Clear aligners will be a common day-to-day -day treatment. This is something I received just before Christmas from a dentist who has tremendous experience in orthodontics. Someone I would let treat my kids and myself. And, and after doing the whole program with the Clear Institute, he sent me this. I like crazy things like that. You can be successful and have fun at the same time. You want to know what successful practices do? They are safe. And this will be true now more than ever. Patient will need to feel safe. Your staff will need to feel safe. And you will need to feel safe too. So you have to establish why you do it. You have to determine your objectives and goals, create systems, follow them, and do all that as a team. You cannot do this alone. It will not work. And all this, if it's only in your head and, and you don't communicate it to your team, I mean, how do you want them to know? Invisalign can be fun and enjoyable, but to get there, there's a learning curve and you have to decide and believe that you can do it. You have to learn it to do it safely. You need strict protocols and you have to follow them if you want to do lots and lots of Invisalign in a safe and predictable manner. I understand Invisalign. I understand the training you need. I understand the reality of a GP. The mindset of a GP, of a general practice, is different than an ortho. It's normal. We, we don't want trouble with these cases. We want them to be predictable, but this all comes with a state of mind, with an, an, an initial decision. Now, there's a chance that if you are here today, it's because you're considering this decision and you're not the only one. We'll get back to that later. Who knows who this guy is? You, you've heard the name. This is Maslow, you know, the, the pyramid of needs guy. Now, this is not accurate anymore. I, Maslow today would probably change it for that. And in this, in this COVID time, um, we can even add this. Maslow had some interesting quotes and he said once that you know, one can choose to step back to safety or move forward to growth. And what I see with dentists is a lot of stepping back to safety. We are afraid, we're insecure. Why? And, and even if they decided to move forward, you know, the road to success is dotted with many tempting parking places. Insecurity. Insecurity, that is, I think, our biggest enemy. Nobody likes changes, except maybe crying babies, but 
with time and effort by learning the basic principles to start. Diagnostic, mechanics, treatment planning, everything it takes to be successful with clear aligners, you will reach a point where you will feel comfortable treating your patients with clear aligners. It has to become a part of your practice. Now, of course, like everything new, you will stumble a couple of times, but this is where you will learn. The important thing is to know someone is there to help. You are the only one who can make this decision. It's better to take the decision and change now when you decide it, rather than when you have no choice. Steve Jobs said, the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who usually do. So why not change your world of dentistry and incorporate orthodontic treatments in your practice? It has never been as easy and accessible as it is right now. There is no special powder or skills or both to become competent in this. You need time and practice. That's all. You, you need to make the effort of learning. You need to stumble a couple of times to learn even more. There is a learning curve. Like in everything we do. I want to change your perception. I want you to be excited when you see a patient like this in your office. Because now the problem is, when you see these patients, you are afraid. You see crooked teeth, you see spaces, you're thinking orthodontics, and, and you get afraid because you've been told for too long that you cannot touch that. And it's true, it's true that it was much harder with braces. Harder to understand, harder to integrate, harder to delegate. But now the game has changed. I, I don't want you to be afraid anymore. You see things like this and you're not afraid. You get excited. And I know you, you're telling yourself, Oh, I'm not going for this one. I'm going for that one. You should all be excited when you see this. A lot more excited. This is a predictable case. This is a case you can treat after you completed the MOCA 101 Foundation course we give. And this is a dramatic change for a patient. This case was completed in less than a year, with not a lot of chair time, with an excellent clinical success, and a very interesting financial success too. Okay, okay, I know you doctors, you want to see some cases. So let's look at this young man. I'm going to show you the final pictures first, because I want you to try to guess how he was before. Can you tell what the problem was just by looking at the final position of the teeth? Here it is. Look at the cuspid. The midline shift because of the crossbite. Look at the cuspid again. Look at the final picture. Look at the root. Everything moved. That was done with Invisalign only. Another quiz. Guess how long was the treatment? Was it 17 months? 12 months? Or 7 months? And the winner is... 26 aligners, 7 months. Isn't it amazing? Now, I don't want to confuse you. This is exceptional. Usually case needs two series of aligners, but in this case, only one series was needed. He was extra, super compliant, and his teeth were super compliant as well. Now, I can hear you from here. I can read your mind. You're asking, what can clear aligners do for me? That is not the right question. The right question is, what can you do with clear aligners? Hey, it's easy. You can close spaces, you can correct cross bites, you can close open bites, you can open deep bites, you can rotate teeth, you can make some traction, even of impacted cuspid, you can correct midlines, you can correct curves of speed, but, 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 I hear you again. Here comes the question. Can we move roots? The answer is yes. Look at how we managed to correct the tip, the mesiodistal angulation of these teeth in an adult. We did not bend these teeth. And look at this. 
A second molar, measly tip, uprighted with Invisalign only. We go over this case in the intermediate course and show you how to treat a case like this in a predictable manner. These pictures of cases should prove you something. You can do anything you want. Everything can be done. <laughs> what is it? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, I know you doctors so much. I know you doctors. You're thinking, yeah, of course he says that. He's lecturing for Invisalign, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Oh, you even brought back the mother-in-law. Well, doctors, let me tell you, I, I'm not the one saying it. In the July 2016 edition of the Journal of Clinical Orthodontics, one of the major journals in orthodontics, Dr. Robert Kine, the editor-in-chief, wrote in his editorial, After following the full learning curve in aligner orthodontics, I've reached a point in my own clinical development where I feel confident in taking on any case with the Invisalign system. As far as I'm concerned, a braces orthodontic practice is now entirely feasible. Lyle Johnston, one of the most respected orthodontists in the world. Now, if you're an orthodontist and you don't know who Lyle Johnston is, you have to wake up now. He is an example of integrity, an example of knowledge, of understanding the difference between clinical opinion and evidence based in dentistry. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but you have to understand the difference and decide what are your principles and, and assume them. I do some things based on my clinical opinions. For example, retention. There is no scientific evidence based research telling us what is the best retention. We only know that we need retention. Those who give you the right recipe should go back and read the systematic reviews from Cochrane. It's important that you know that to deal with all the information you receive. Fake news are also present in dentistry and orthodontics. So use your judgment. When somebody tells you that what they do is better and what they use is better and it always works, well, always use that trick from Edward Tufte, a statistician and professor emeritus at Yale. He says to always answer questions by, compared to what? Lyle Johnston wrote in Seminars in Orthodontics, another major journal, that when clear aligners were introduced, he had a negative mindset and doubted that clear aligners could find an, an effective niche. And then he admits he was wrong. Learning is never a waste of time. And there is a special way adults learn. We start by being unconsciously incompetent. Then we become consciously incompetent. The next stage is to be consciously competent. And we finish by being unconsciously competent. Here's an example. Driving a car. When I was young, my father would bring us in a car ride. That's the, I mean, those were my Sunday afternoon. We were going nowhere, just riding in the car. I couldn't care less about how to drive a car. I was eight, nine, 10. I had no idea. I was unconsciously incompetent. Then at the age of 14, I started to get interested. I knew I didn't know, and I knew I would get my license at, at 16. So. I wanted to learn. I started watching how he was doing it. I was consciously incompetent. Then I did all the steps to get my license and my son now is doing it. And oh my God, it's so long when we go practice. Just, just getting ready, I think takes 30 minutes. I, adjusting the mirror and the seats and, and the mirror again. It's, it's endless, but he checks everything. He is being consciously competent and we forget about it with time. I mean, but driving a car is a lot of things to process at the same time. We forget about it because we become unconsciously competent. It becomes a second nature. We don't even think about it. 
Now, there is no magic in this. No magic in learning. It's, it's just fun sometimes to get out of our comfort zone. What is important is to have the right tools and to know how to use them. Invisalign is the tool and we know it works. You now have to learn to use it. And once you accept that, learn and master that, then you are in control. In complete control because you should be in control. This is not done by the software. The software is there to help not to do the job in your place. Teeth do not care about what makes them move. They are not selective and will never go on strike against plastic. You only need one thing to move teeth and it's, it's, come on, say it louder so everyone can hear it. Force, that's it, force. Thank you, bravo, that's it. Bravo Edmonton. There are five reasons why you should not hesitate to incorporate clear aligners in your practice. First, your patients want it because your patient wants straight teeth, but no braces. And they like you, they trust you, they like your team, they don't want to be sent to another office. They want to be treated by you and you can now easily choose the cases you want to treat. How many class one with crowding or spacing cases do you think you see in a day, in a week, in a month? To how many of them have you talked about Invisalign? How many of them had simulation of their own teeth? Imagine how it could increase your bottom line. You and your team have no problem talking about these treatments. This is predictable for you. You know you can deliver, but your patients, they want clear aligners. By not offering this option, you are neglecting a large portion of the population. You have to be able to talk about these things. You have to know what it does, what it doesn't. You have to understand it. But from today on, you just cannot say that it doesn't work anymore. Otherwise, you're not being honest. Nobody wants to be the old fashioned dentist of the city. Nobody wants to go there. Nobody wants to be called old fashioned in dentistry. You're pretty sure that if you go to a guy like that for orthodontics, he's going to put you in something like this. Don't be this guy. Nobody wants to be old fashioned in dentistry anymore. Nobody wants to go to an old fashioned dentist. Dentistry like the good old days is not trendy. This is why you have to integrate now this digital technology into your workflow because the others will and your patients will know. How will you differentiate yourself? How will you compete? But is this profitable? Will you make money with this? I know, I know, I know. It's not about the money. But experience showed me that it's never about the money, but it's always about the money. And it's important. You need to find a balance between clinical success and financial success. You cannot only have one of them. They go hand in hand together. The fact is aligners are here to stay. They were a major change, a real revolution in dentistry and orthodontics, like bonding was in the 80s. Is it a perfect system? No, it's not. There are no perfect system, but they are, I mean, they're here to stay. And the fun thing is they keep improving. We're treating cases today that we would never, never thought possible 10 years ago. So don't wait, start now. Because what will happen if you wait? What are the advantages of waiting? If a patient has the choice between someone who offers clear aligners and someone who doesn't, there's a good chance they will choose the first one. Every year, the Dental Industry Association of Canada publishes a report on the future of dentistry, a survey they, they, they do. And when you look at it, you see that 45% of dentists say they will increase the Invisalign offer in their practice. At the question, what are you planning to buy in the next two years? The answer is a digital impression system. And we will talk about this in our next webinar next week. I'll tell you more later. later. 
Um, back to the question. Are you making money with this? What we hear all the time is, the lab fees are so expensive. It's the most expensive aligner system out there. Well, my question to you before I explain how to really look at this, um, what is your reaction when a patient uh, tells you that you are a lot more expensive than another dentist? The problem is uh, when you stop and look only at the lab fees, this is not how we run a business. Look at how much is left after you do a treatment. Did you ever do the math? I, I did. At one point, I took the last 50 cases, all cases, randomly, I mean, no selection, and went over how much time and money I spent on each of them. And I came with a number, an hourly rate. Guess what? I've been doing aligners for almost 16 years now. And even today, it's the only thing I do. Do you think, really, I would have taken this decision if I was losing money? Let me give you an example. Let's take a case, a, a typical case, 12 months of treatment. Now you see the patient every eight weeks. Let's say we need two sets of aligners to finish the case. So here you have all the appointments with the time spent at the chair. Nine appointments total. Total chair time, roughly seven hours. That is $928 an hour. And even if you remove the lab fees, you are still left with $614 an hour. That is almost the double the average of what a dentist makes an hour. This is why now, more than ever, it is time to incorporate these treatments in your office. You will need profitable treatment and treatment who produces less aerosol. Invisalign answers to both. Even better, these treatments are not done in your chair, but in the hygienist chair. You can still do your regular dentistry. Imagine how profitable this makes your hygiene department, all with a treatment your patients want, a treatment that will make them refer patients to your office. When was the last time you had a reference from a patient who had a root canal at your office. It's a matter of choosing the right cases because if you only do cases like these, you will not be profitable. This can be fun to show your friends, but those cases are hard and time consuming. Again, you need a balance. For every hard cases like this that you do, you need an easy one like the first one I did. Your team will be so happy to have something new like this. Once they, they will understand the benefits for, for them, for your patient, uh, once they will decide to follow you in your objectives and vision, it will be a guaranteed success. If you choose the right cases. Let's face it, smile has never been that important. In my 28 years of practice, I've never seen this, and it's all because of social media and selfies. People are taking pictures of themselves all the time. They show their smile. They want a nice one. They, they don't want braces. Guess what they want? And by the way, if you're wondering why she never showed her smile, you have the answer now. It's all a matter of taking the time to learn, taking the time to get there. So you're interested, you're excited, you're wondering what's next. What I recommend is that you learn and practice. The Foundation MOCA 101 course from the Clear Institute offers all you need to get you started on the right foot. Because of recent events, we had to cancel all the live face-to-face -face courses we were scheduled to do, but always wanting to provide high quality entertaining education uh, we've been working hard in setting up a digital e-learning platform that will be ready soon. The first course available will be an upgraded version of the MOCA 101 we were giving. E-learning offers some new possibilities to make the experience interactive and really make it an experience. Other courses uh, will be available on the platform as well as, as multiple speakers will come in in various domains, all in relation with clear aligners and restoration. 
The CLEAR Institute is an AGD designated PACE program provider. You can reach us by sending a question at question at theclearinstitute.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are launching this week the Clear Tips While You Brush, a weekly two minutes tip with a timer to prove it on everything that touches clear aligners. Don't miss it. And stay informed by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell as well. The, the bell will enable us to inform you every time a new video is online. Follow us on social media and be sure to tune in and register for the next webinar. Step by step, practice growth with clear aligners. Now you decided that you want to incorporate clear aligners. Perfect. Good. Excellent. Now, what do you need? What, what is the plan? What are the steps to make it successful? This is what we will discuss in this upcoming webinar. Don't miss it. Thursday, May 21st at 11 a.m. And I'll finish with this proof that smile is so important. The Colgate company did a marketing campaign based on that. Uh, they were showing these pictures to promote their dental floss, but also to prove to people that the first thing we see is the teeth, the smile. This is where we look. And it really is because <laughs> You probably didn't even see that she has six fingers, that there is an arm coming from nowhere on his shoulder, and that he is missing an ear. I told you. So, this is every. Oh, my. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, 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 this is my third. So, uh, okay, last quiz. Try to guess my age. It comes from a time where everything was black and white. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Oh, that's me. This is everything I have for you today. My name is Stefan Reinhardt. I'm the Director of Education for the Clear Institute. Be safe, take care, take care of your loved ones, and I'll see you around.